What's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video comes out of suburbia in the middle of nowhere. And believe me, people, I have tried to find the exact location where this uh, ultimate beam footage happened, a.k.a. Epic Fail took place but i couldn't find the exact city so we just gonna play we just gonna say excuse me suburbia if you will but we have this couple at first we thought it was just a woman but it was like ain't no way in hell that she's driving around by herself then get out the passenger side of the door so i you know thought to myself well it got to be somebody else driving that car sure enough it was a boyfriend a baby daddy her husband we don't know who the hell it was, but all we know it was another guy driving. We didn't find that out till after what took place. And see, this is what you call when keeping it real goes wrong, or when stealing goes wrong, or when being, uh, when doing the most goes wrong. Instead of this woman, old as she is, and she looks every bit uh, 50 years old, she may be 55, give or take, or 56, 50 years old, but you know, you would think that, that old as she is, and that she should know better to go on people's porches and steal their packages. Now, this is a huge outcry that's going on all around the country where we have people, you know, you know, catching people in the act of stealing. See, first you have to just assume that maybe FedEx didn't drop your package off or maybe the guy at UPS got your new gadgets and stuff and they uh, having fun with it, which sometimes that does happen. But most of the time when these packages get delivered, whether it's from Amazon, eBay, or wherever the hell have you, they go straight to the place and the place will send it to your house now you know things do happen uh packages do get lost in the transaction or whatnot that's why you should post to keep up with your tracking number and your order and all that but what happens when the people do their job and deliver the packages then you have to worry about not only the package being damaged but these crooks riding around and you have them riding around trying to get it like two chains back in the day and the first sign that they have that it's a box somewhere they're going to stop and pick it up. And see, you also have people doing videos where they put, uh, how can I say this, uh, shit, dog shit, cat shit in these boxes. So when the people looking at it, some of them don't have sense enough. Number one, if you had sense, you wouldn't be doing it. But we'll skip the sense part because every dinner they don't have any of that. Also, to be the age that, that, to be the age they are committing these juvenile petty crimes, if you will. But some of them would just look straight in the box and just, you know, reach their hand down there. And next thing you know, they think they finna come up with a necklace or a nice watch or a new phone. They come up with a handful of shit, if you will. But this woman right here, instead of her you know, making her man go out there because we can't sit up here and say, well, they shouldn't be doing it. Of course we know they shouldn't be doing it, but that defeats the whole purpose of the video, if you know what I mean. So instead of her telling her man to get his big ass out there and uh, Tim, Tim Huckabee, you go up there to the door because last time I went to the door and a dog started barking and I got scared and you got mad at me because I dropped all the packages like she did this time. And that's why you men, let me tell you something. If you're going to live a life of crime, don't put your woman up to doing the damn dirty work. Get your ass out and do the damn dirty work yourself. Because I guarantee you, if somebody would came out with a shotgun and blew a hole back open, just like some baby back ribs at Chili's or Applebee's, I bet you he would have drove off and left her ass sitting on that damn ground. Now, she's creeping up to the damn house like, you know, she's old boy off of, uh, what's the movie, Men to Society, the one that was finna fight Kane and old dog. Talking about, which one of you Kane, homie? We I don't like what you're doing to my cousin. Y'all remember, remember the part that Kane stomped his ass out and everything? She walked up there just like that with that little, you know, that little Cali vibe we call it, that little walk with her hand on her hip. Like she got a Glock 40 right there and a pack of Newports on the other side. She probably smoked marbles, but who knows? We don't care about that. Now, all was good in the city until she uh got right there to the steps and got ready to exit and leave with the merchandise, with the products, a.k.a. the boxes, if you will. If somebody must never told her or she wasn't that athletic in her life or whatever but one thing about it you do not take off running off of concrete then expect that grass that ground to hold you up like that concrete as in you know it's going to be a different feeling and a different uh traction if you will you're not going to be able to get good grip on no damn wet ass grass you know so that's why you seen as soon as she stepped off the concrete she hit that grass she bust her ass you know what i'm saying and that leg i don't know if i don't know if y'all got subwoofers on y'all system but if you got a subwoofer or surround sound you can hear it it sound like a transformer transforming when they live 
like that. It sounded like a bowl of Rice Krispies because I know damn well she was in pain. I was hurt for I grabbed my heart like this. I'm like, oh, but I got to do a video about you, you know, and she's sitting up here. She And I don't know why she didn't start hollering. That, that would have been me. See, my, my, my stealing days would have been over right then. I would have been out there hollering like a little bitch. Y'all can laugh at me, call me what you want to. I don't give a damn. You know, if that would have been me out there in that damn front yard, I would have been holding that leg, call the police. I'm, I'm turning myself in, even though I didn't get away with this shit. You know what I'm saying? You can get me for attempted or aggravated stupidity or or if they got a charge attempting to steal or trespass it. But damn it, you know, my days are over with. See, that was a sign right there. You know, and I ain't talking about M. Night uh, Shyamalan, Shyamalan, La La, whatever the guy name is. Y'all know who I'm talking about, the movie that made the movie signs and stuff. The guy that made these weird ass movies that, that don't have no meaning. But that right there is what we call a sign where I'm from. That was a sign from the most high telling you. Girl, sit your butt down. You got to sit down somewhere because you could not be out here at your age. You and your husband supposed to be at somebody's goddamn uh, business somewhere or in your own restaurant somewhere big as you is. You know, trying to retire. But yet, it's still you riding around here stealing packages. And that's why I tell people, when y'all want to talk about uh, stealing, it's, a, it's a, only some one race of people. No, every damn body steal. You know what I'm saying? Everybody steal. It's, it's no in-between. It don't matter what color you is. You could be black, white, green, purple, Chinese, German. Who cares? Everybody in this world steals. And that's one thing that you will see all across my videos. I just don't target one group of people and say, well, these are the people that's riding around stealing. No, they all steal. You see what I'm saying? Now, some of them might not get caught in the act. Some of the crimes might be brazen, more brazen or or uh, what you would call uh, daringly than the other ones. And some might be a little more sophisticated while some might be just pretty stupid. But when this guy got out that damn car, I know he was thinking in his mind, damn, I should have never let Betty Sue run back up to that damn house. You know, the last time was a warning when... Uh, we almost had a big old box, and, and, and she messed that up because she messed around, dropped everything in it, and it was broken. So we just had to leave the broken stuff in the driveway. You know, I bet that was running through his head. And you see how he just took his time getting up there? I mean, he actually just took his time walking up there like he just tired of her. And I'm surprised he didn't leave her ass. See, that would have been me, boy. I would have left her ass. I'm like, this is the last lick you messed up. And people are like, well, Trey, what's the lick? Uh, when, when my... Uh, fellow comrades, my family, my uh, subscriber, because I don't have any followers. Like I say, follow the most high. But with the people in the comment section, please tell the people what hitting the lick is. That's when you're going out there getting it on uh, uh, the hard way, if you will. That's when you're going out there, uh, when you're about that drama. When you're just going out there, just probably leave the house with $5, come back with two or $3,000, and you probably did whatever it took to get it. True? It's wrong. Okay. But still, though. That's what hitting the lick is. So I know he was thinking that, but you see how slow he walked up to that damn uh, woman? He, he he must thought that he wasn't committing a crime right then. Don't you realize that you're on camera? These people have cameras and stuff all around their houses. You think these folks got these three, four hundred thousand dollar, five hundred thousand dollar house, a million dollar house, and they ain't got surveillance cameras, you damn dummy? They got people in the projects got cameras with pit bulls and stuff, big bags of weed and dope and stuff. You know, if they got cameras, you know somebody on the other side of the tracks, what we call it, like to say. Uh, they got cameras. Instead of him running up there rescuing her like he, he's running to a, burn, a burning building, you know, he took his time walking up there like he was pissed off. I bet he was caught on all kinds of fat B's and fat H's and stuff. And then, what make it so bad, <clears throat> excuse me, when there was just a little hope left, uh, far as I say, hope, and this is what I mean by hope, when, you know, you didn't actually take the uh, merchandise, you uh, took it off the steps and you was trying to steal it, but when that happened, that, maybe there was a sign saying, leave this shit alone, you're on camera. Now, if you would have left the stuff alone, took the woman on to the hospital, they probably would have gave him some kind of trespassing charge or something, but due to the fact that this asshole went and put the woman in the car and then came back and grabbed the packages, you fully committed yourself, so he definitely wasn't playing, you see what I'm saying? But if he would have just left that stuff Everything would have been all right. Let me know what you think about this situation right here with overweight vanilla ice and overweight uh, Vanna White, if you will. Let, let your boy know what you think about this because if that would have been me, I would have drove off and left her ass. I would have just had to find me a new partner in crime, a new life partner or, or a new concubine, if you will. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like, definitely subscribe. Definitely share the video with your people who still going out here old as hell trying to steal and everything like it's 1980 or 1990 again. These people got all kinds of cameras. They got cameras on, on your pens, on your... Uh, and flower pots and everywhere. You know, you don't you don't you don't never know where the eyes of the ranger are upon you. Anyway, y'all take care.